Well, Chef, police training typically focuses on the part of the brain that consciously makes decisions, weighing out pros and cons, the ethics and the consequences. But scientists know in high stress situations, another part of the brain takes over, the part that operates purely on instinct. And scientific research, along with immersive technology, can actually change the way police train the brain. Sir, are you okay? For decades, simulators have been used to train police for deadly threats. Now, virtual reality is teaching empathy, helping police walk a mile in someone else's shoes. I've been there, man. I know how you feel, bud. A step to end the killing. Rick Smith wrote the book on it. Violence is a technology problem, or at least a problem where tech can make a big difference. Smith heads up Axon, best known for making tasers. Now it's applying VR technology to enhance an officer's most powerful weapon, the brain. We need you to calm down. We can put them in the scenario where it is their lizard brain, as you said. They're reacting on instinct, not intellect. Uh, and then that just comes down to repetition to build those new reflexive skills. Any time that you know, something goes wrong where officers make poor decisions, even very poor decisions or bad decisions. It almost always can be traced back to how the brain is processing information. John Page founded Cognitive Command, a brain training system that uses short daily exercises to anchor emotion, control breathing, use mental imagery. Pennsylvania has been using the program since 2010 to train all sheriff's deputies. We introduced them to how the brain works, how the brain works under stress, that if you are under stress and you can't handle that stress, you may uh, be subject to um, auditory exclusion, tunnel vision, time distortion. But we introduced them also to tactical breathing. That brings down your heart rate. When your heart rate is lowered, your ability to process information and make sound decisions is enhanced. Their research shows it improves officers' ability to stay calm, confident, and in control. Still, there are hurdles. Honestly, it's money. It comes right down to how much money is an agency willing to invest in its police agency. And my simple answer to that is how much money are you willing to spend on the lawsuits for when your police agency fails? Another hurdle, police may only train for a day or two a year, but may spend thousands of hours over their lifetime playing video games with immersive shooting scenarios. And the scientists say that actually builds neural pathways to perceive threats quickly. But boy, does it make it an uphill climb to retrain for a more conscious, controlled approach. They're hoping this may give that video game a run for its money, Shep. Very interesting. Thank you, Contessa. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.